My name is Natalie Angeletti, although I have a feeling many of you already know that. But I hope you are all staying safe and healthy during these times, and I miss you all dearly. Today, I'm going to be telling you about a short story called Hills Like White Elephants, written by Ernest Hemingway. Ernest Hemingway was born in 1899 and grew up in an upscale Chicago suburb. He was raised by two conservative parents. His parents had a summer home in northern Michigan where he learned to hunt and fish. Throughout his entire life, Ernest continually went back to his love and appreciation for the great outdoors. His passion for writing began in high school as he worked on the school newspaper. After high school, because of his uninterest in college, as well as being forbidden by his parents to enlist in World War I, Ernest worked as a reporter for the Kansas City Star, only to volunteer as an ambulance driver for the war a little while later. Eventually, he was badly wounded on the front line, so he had to come home. After this, he moved to Paris, where his fame for journaling began. Here, he became a part of a very famous group of writers called The Lost Generation. During the 1920s, his books were very well known and popular. But in the 1930s, his books showed a little bit more of his love for the outdoors and the wild. While they were still popular, they were criticized more than his previous works. Having always been fascinated with the war, he became involved with World War II and was even present during the D-Day landing. By the end of his life, Ernest had survived four marriages and two plane crashes. He lived all over the world and was considered a great man of adventure. Sadly, at the age of 61, he took his own life. His previous injuries and deteriorating mental and physical health, as well as depression, were likely the cause of the suicide. Hills Like White Elephants is a rather quick yet complex story to understand. For example, the whole story is a dialogue between two characters, and yet these characters' names are unmentioned throughout the whole story. The story begins with the setting. It takes place at a train station in Spain that has the view of a valley and long, rolling white hills. An American man, and presumably his girlfriend, are waiting for the next train to arrive. It is very hot out, and the man orders two beers. The girl mentions that the hills look like white elephants. The couple then begins to drink and discuss alcohol. To me, it seems that there's a lot more going on in the couple's lives than what is being shared, because the girl takes back her comment about the elephants, and a conversation begins about the girl having an operation. It is never mentioned as to what type of operation is being discussed. More drinks are ordered, and the man continually reassures the girl that the operation will be simple, and that afterward, everything will return to how it was before. The girl wants the man to ensure that they will be happy again after the operation, and that they will be all right. She says that she doesn't care about herself, and that she will do it so that everything will be fine again. The girl continuously contradicts herself while talking to the American about the operation. She says that if she does the operation, then they can have everything. But no, they can't have everything. It is a continuous contradiction until she eventually asks the man to stop talking and to get more drinks. Then, the train is about to arrive, and the man leaves the girl alone for a bit. When it is time to leave, he comes back, and the girl supposedly feels better. I personally chose this story based on the fact that I had heard of Ernest Hemingway and knew that he was a well-known author. This short story, although complicated to comprehend, has several themes and meanings hidden throughout. The first main theme of the story is talking but not communicating. The entire conversation between the couple is not meaningful. Although speaking to each other, they never truly listen to what the other is saying. Based on research, it is understood that the operation is actually an abortion. It is very clear that having an abortion is causing a major problem 
between the couple. The man constantly persists in encouraging the girl to have an abortion, which only results in further tension between the two. I haven't mentioned that the man called the girl Jig. This nickname merely represents how the two always dance around each other and never get to the point. Eventually, just to get the man to stop persisting about having an abortion, she agrees to it. Another significant theme is drinking. Ordering two beers is one of the first things that the couple does. They drink alcohol in order to avoid the problems clearly going on in their relationship. As soon as the hills like white elephants are mentioned, the girl asks for more drinks. The white elephant has a deeper meaning to it than just being compared to hills. It represents something that nobody wants, which in this case happens to be a baby. When the girl later takes back her comment about the white elephant, it shows that she may truly not want an abortion. Altogether, this shows an even deeper rift between the American and the girl, hence the constant drinking in order to put off their problems in their continuously breaking relationship. I hope that you all learned something from this short story and the significance of what Ernest Hemingway wrote. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.